Saw this question asked all over social media and it came up a bunch of times on my nightly 9.30 p.m. live stream. You can catch that, by the way, every night live, New 6 Plus or on the New 6 YouTube channel. Can we have two storms come together and merge? That's, of course, because we do have two active tropical waves out there. And the question was, as they get close enough together, can they merge and form one giant super hurricane? And the short answer to that is no. There are a few things that can happen, but one thing that won't happen is a giant storm being created. So we have these two tropical waves out here, one closer to the Caribbean, one way out into the Central Atlantic. And once they eventually get their circulations as they move out in this direction, will they merge? Well, the most common option when storms get close in proximity is the Fujiwara effect named after the scientist that found uh, that discovered it. So basically that storm here, that storm, they move up in this general area. They get close enough. They're going to rotate around a common center. So rather than really merge, there's a common center, for example, they're going to dance almost like a square dance. So one could get flung in one direction, the other get flung in the other direction. Now, another thing that can happen is one could absorb the other one if they get close enough. Maybe they kind of spin out in this direction and one kind of gets pulled into the other. In this example, they're not going to combine and create a mega storm or anything like that. One is going to weaken and then the other one's going to have to pick itself back up because it was just involved in a kind of merger or, or an absorption, if you will. And depending upon the atmospheric ingredients at the time, that will determine if it strengthens or weakens. The other thing is one or both of these storms could weaken or kind of dissolve altogether because what happens is as these storms start to get a little stronger, they produce outflow in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Well, one thing that hurricanes or tropical storms don't like is any kind of pushback. They don't like wind shear. Well, what happens when we get the outflow involved in these things? They induced wind shear on the other storm or on each other, and that's going to act to disrupt the circulation for as violent and crazy big and strong as these tropical storms and hurricanes can be, they like to operate in a relatively calm environment when there's another system nearby that calm or relative calm is kind of taken away. So those are your three things, but one of the options is not a merger of the two to create a giant superstorm. Again, one can absorb the other, but then it's based on environmental factors, whether or not that storm strengthens or weakens in the future.